Okay, so for service type of business, this is what your income statement looks like. This is refreshing on memory. You've seen this before in the first four chapters in financial accounting. Upper part, service revenue. Latter part, all the costs incurred, expenses incurred, in order to make that service revenue possible. Okay, so we have salary expense, the people you hire, rent expense, the place for the, the location for services provided, utilities comes together with the place, depreciation on furniture on the building, long-term assets, we depreciate it um, from time to time. It could be a monthly basis, it could be a yearly basis. Interest expense, if you borrow money, you have to pay interest to third parties. Supplies expense, if you use up supplies, it turns into expense from assets, turns into expense. So altogether, this is an example given to you on e-learning service company. Let's say they have, assuming they have 1,950 customers, assuming. So if I tell you all these services, these revenues comes from 1,950 customers, then what would be the average cost per customer for these services? Okay, again, the $7,600 revenue comes from providing learning services to this many customers. And the cost incurred for providing these services is $3,900. So what would be the average cost per service, per customer? $1,950. People. Oh, sorry, sorry. People. Okay, so these are the number of customers. This is the cost. What is the unit cost per service? Two dollars? Around two dollars. How do you get that? Divided using the cost would be thirty nine hundred, right? Then you divide it by the total number of people. Two dollars. Right, so this is the unit cost per service. This seems easy because this is a service type of business. We don't have actual products. We're not thinking about materials yet. So we just take all the total of the expenses. This is the cost of doing business divided by total cases of services we provided. It could be customers, it could be each individual e-learning cases. Okay, now why are we looking at this? Unit's cost is important because we need to determine what we're going to charge these customers, right? So you've seen earlier service revenue. That's what we charge the customers. That's what we receive from them. So you need to know what is the average cost per case in order to determine and to mark up a price for retail price for services revenue that you're receiving from them. And it has to be a number above $2, otherwise you're not gaining anything, right? So you need to know what does it cost to do the business in order to see and to plan ahead what's the profit you're getting. So this is a first example for service company. type of business also covered in financial accounting in chapter five and six those are related to inventory right so those businesses relates to